Let me show you guys some interesting operating systems that you can try after Windows 10 reaches the end of life. I think most of you guys already know Microsoft is ending the support for Windows 10 later this year 2025 so if you're still on windows 10 you can try these operating systems and these operating systems are not in any order like best worst these operating systems are best in their own way let's start this with the chromium os there are three different operating systems that you can actually use on your system based on chromium os one is fed os one is Chrome OS Flex, it's officially from the Google. You can install it on your old PC or Mac, okay? And there is this project at GitHub called Brunch. Using this, you can install official Chrome OS with Android support on any PC. Or if you don't care about the Android app support, yeah, just go for the Chrome OS Flex or you can also try the Fair OS. Now, this is Fair OS that I have installed on VM. If you also want to try and feel how Chrome OS looks, you can actually also try this on virtual machine. Fair OS actually has a image for VMware that you can download. Uh, so basically all these three operating systems are kind of similar. So it doesn't matter which one you use, okay? Only thing is that Chrome OS Flex doesn't support the Android apps, but Chrome OS Brunch and Fed OS actually support Android apps if you want them. So you can see here there is the Android and this is how Chrome OS looks and you can also like try out different things and all that. This is like super fast operating system. Even in virtual machine, this feels like really good, okay? If you do a lot of your work on your web browser and you use a lot of web apps, I think Chrome OS is the best operating system for that. And it can also support millions of Android apps. Yes, all the Play Store and everything will be here. If someone forces me to use a operating system other than Windows, I might actually go for Chrome OS. It's actually a really good operating system. It's super fast. It's like browser-based operating system. It just feels so fast. You can also install Linux applications if you want. It is like all-in-one operating system. Only downside of using Chrome OS on your PC is that if you have dedicated GPU on your system, it won't be able to utilize that. So that's just gonna be waste of GPU, I guess. If you also want to use your GPU, I think this isn't the best operating system. But if you don't have a dedicated GPU, you only have the iGPU built into your CPU. This is like, perfect operating system for that. Whichever you prefer, just download them. One is Fade OS, one is Chrome OS Flex, and Brunch, okay? So if you just want to feel it, how it looks and how it works, uh, you should go and uh, try out the Fade OS on VMware virtual machine, and then you can use whichever you want. Next, yeah, it's obvious, Linux. And there are many Linux operating systems to choose from but i recommend you guys to go for something like ubuntu if you can go for the ubuntu because i have tested many linux distros out there ubuntu will give you the best linux experience in my opinion for new users or you can use anything that is based on ubuntu or debian most popular Linux distros out there are actually based on Ubuntu, like Linux Mint is based on Ubuntu. You can go for that too. Just from my experience, what I found is that Ubuntu works really well out of the box. I'm not gonna go too deep into like explaining different Linux distros or whatnot. All I'm gonna say is that try Ubuntu on your system or even on virtual machine, but for best experience, I recommend you guys to try Ubuntu on spare laptop or PC. If you are actually gonna go and try out the Linux, I recommend you guys to install it on hardware. It will give you the best experience. Trying it on virtual machine and uh, trying it on hardware, there is a huge difference. This is a absolutely amazing Linux distribution for new users. It just works out of the box 
And if this thing doesn't work, you can just assume that Linux is not for you, basically. When it comes to Linux operating system recommendation, you'll see different people recommending different, you know, Linux distros and whatnot. It gets really confusing when you start listening to different people. Okay, some will say like Ubuntu is better. Some will say Linux Mint is better. Some will say Arch is better and all that. I just don't want to make you guys confused. Just go and install Ubuntu and see if this thing actually works for you or not. If this thing doesn't work for you, you can just move on and try it another operating system this basically means linux is not for you in my experience i found that ubuntu is really well made linux distro for anyone for beginner or expert i know some people are gonna recommend some other linux in the comments yeah i'm watching you <laughs> next os is android os for pc yes believe it or not android also works on PC. So there are two projects that I want to show you guys. One is called Bliss OS for PC. Okay, this is the operating system based on Android and you can install it on your PC, any PC. Okay, and second one is called Prime OS. This OS is also based on Android and this is a really good operating system if you want to do Android gaming like on your pc with your mouse and keyboard and they also have a laptop android laptop called prime book but if you want you can also you know install this on your pc but this is like if you want to do a android gaming yeah this is a good android os but if you just want a little bit better android experience not so much for the gaming but you know for other applications and some simple gaming too yeah bliss os is better so i have this thing installed actually on virtual machine so let me show you guys here so you know the android how it looks so this is the dock at the bottom okay and you can pull out the start menu not the start menu what do you call this <laughs> i forget okay the app drawer okay so you have the Google Play Store and everything. You can use all the Android apps. You know, the Android is really popular. And same as Chrome OS, it cannot use your dedicated GPU. So if you really want to use your GPU, you want to utilize that, you should go for the Linux, like Ubuntu or something. Now, the next operating system that you can try after the Windows 10 EUL is the Windows 10, but different edition it's the windows 10 iot enterprise ltsc edition so as you guys know again windows 10 will soon reach the end of support late this year 2025 uh, after that you'll be forced to use windows 11 but if you don't want to move to windows 11 let's just say that you can still use windows 10 if you want but you'll have to use this edition windows 10 iot enterprise version 2021 and look at the end of life of this edition 2032 so basically you can use this for seven more years i think you already know how windows 10 looks and works i don't have this thing installed so basically if you love windows 10 you don't want to move to windows 11 or any other operating system yeah this is the last option that you have you can use this thing for seven more years until 20. 32. Now, the final operating system that you can try is the Windows 11. Yay! <laughs> and this is what I'm actually using. I actually use Windows 11 as my main operating system. I also use Linux sometime in my other laptop, just learning new things and all that. As an operating system, I think for now, there isn't a operating system which can replace Windows. Okay, Windows still is the best operating system for the main reason is that game support, everything just works on Windows because it's the most popular operating system. So it's really difficult for anyone to just switch to another operating system. But I know some people have already switched to macOS, to Linux, maybe even to Android or uh, even like uh, Chrome OS. But for most people who have been using Windows for their entire life, it's kind of difficult. Yeah, Windows 11 isn't perfect. I know 
It has the crazy system requirements. Even if you have a unsupported hardware for Windows 11, you can bypass those system requirements and install it. And there is the Windows 11 LTSC 2, which actually doesn't have any of the regular Windows 11 system requirements. You can install it on any PC. But if you want the regular Windows 11, uh, let me show you guys something here, actually. So this is a video that I made a couple of weeks ago, two weeks ago, actually. Uh, how to actually install Windows 11. So let's say you decided to move to Windows 11. I highly recommend you guys to not to upgrade from Windows 10 to 11. That will definitely cause some issues, maybe some driver issues or some black screen of death issue or something. It's always recommended to just do a clean install. When you do a clean install of Windows, use a tool called Rufus or just watch this video, how to actually install Windows 11. This is how I actually install Windows 11 on my system. Using this, you can remove the system requirements uh, for Windows 11 if your PC just in case doesn't support Windows 11. And you can also disable some of the features that you don't want in Windows, okay? And you can also create a local account. I mean, for most Windows users, it's gonna be really difficult to switch to another operating system like Linux, Chrome OS. If you have a really, really old laptop or PC, I mean, yeah, Linux and Chrome OS, even Android OS are great operating systems. But if you wanna work, and you have a good PC, I think Windows 11 is the way to go, okay? Just don't hate me for saying this, but yeah, that's the truth. And look at the market share right now. Windows 11 is actually rapidly growing, okay? You can try other operating systems, Linux, Chrome OS, if they work for you, I mean, it's good. Yeah, good for you. You can go use them, but for most people, I think, yeah, it's just, you know, Windows because Windows just works. It supports all the games, apps, you name it, and it just works. I mean, it's a simple operating system. You don't have to do much. Just install it and start using it. You might have to watch some tutorials on how to make Windows 11 better or how to customize it and all that. Other than that, yeah, Windows 11 will just work out of the box and it's not that bad of an operating system. I'm using it. I mean, there are some things that I don't like about Windows 11, like the system requirements, uh, the automatic bit locker, uh, the online account. There are many other privacy related thingies. Again, I can use this tool called Rufus to remove most of the Windows 11 garbage and then install the Windows 11 and it will just work. Yeah, it will just work. I think that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Just extra tip, if you have an old PC which barely runs Windows. I highly recommend you guys to try out the Chrome OS. Okay, you can try Fade OS, Chrome OS Flex, or Chrome OS Brunch on your system. I think those operating systems will work really well on on those old PCs or laptops. And but if you have a decent computer still, even if it's old. Yeah, you can go for the Windows 11 or if you want to explore the Linux world, yeah, you should go and explore the Linux world. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.